Hey guys, my name is Shu, and today I'm going to show you a updated guide on how to properly loop your background music for RPG Maker MV. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you're going to need to use an external audio program called Audacity. This program can be downloaded for free from audacityteam.org. Just click on this giant link if you're a Windows user, or this tiny one if you're a Mac user, because Windows is superior. Once you've downloaded Audacity, go ahead and install it and then open it because we will use it immediately. Next, you're going to want to open the song that we are going to loop. Once you have the song open, you're going to want to, you know, this part's probably going to take you the most time. You just want to figure out where the loop begins and where the loop ends so that whenever the song reaches this point it's gonna go back to where you sat the beginning of the loop instead of the beginning of the song. Now, this is because you have songs like the Final Fantasy series it has like a little dilly -li 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 at the very beginning that you don't want you know every single time the song you know to play every single time the song ends. So in my case this beginning is very calm and mellow and there's no drum beat to it. This is only the intro part and then the part that I want to loop is this loud heavy drum beat part. So what I'm going to do is use the magnifying glass to zoom in a little, use the selection tool, select the part where it starts getting loud, which is really obvious in my example. It might not be so obvious for you, so you'll have to you know, possibly play it a couple times to figure out exactly where that spot is. Then go to tracks, add label and selection, start or anything you want doesn't matter and then let me zoom out a little bit find out where you want the loop to reset to this start point so So that loud boom is going to be where I want it to go back to the beginning of the loop in this particular case. So, oops, I just zoomed in to make sure I've got it right where I want it. Yep, okay, great. And then I'm gonna go to tracks, add label at selection, and this time I'm gonna name it end. Once again, the naming doesn't matter, it just needs to have a label there to help you in the long run. Okay, now we're really not going to need the rest of the song because once it hits the end, it's going to go back to start and it's just going to loop this part over and over. So highlight from end all the way to the end of the song and just delete it. Not necessary. Oops, there goes the label. <sighs> just add another one because why not? then highlight from the start to the end. Now go to the bottom and set this to length if it's not already and then go to the drop down here and set this to samples. I think it's on seconds when you first download Audacity. Make sure it's set to samples. And these two weird numbers will come up. This is good. Okay. Next we have to go to file, export audio, Go to your game folder, which is libraries, documents, games, your game folder name, audio, BGM, and then whatever file name you want your new looped song to be. Now for Max, I'm not really sure where the directory is. Um, hopefully somebody can help me out with that one. Uh, for the save as type, it needs to be set to AUG Vorbis files. Once you have done so, go ahead and click save. Yes, I know. And then this new window will come up. Just go ahead and click clear to clear out any pre-existing metadata. Double click on this blank tag name and type in loop start in all capital letters. For the value, it's going to be 
this number whatever this number is you don't need the commas though and then click add and then for the second one type in loop length uh, it's very important that these are spelled correctly double click on the value and put in this number which is the second one down there great and then click OK it'll export it directly into your game folder sound test and there it is BGM loop now just play it just to make sure the loop is working of course this is the calm mellow intro that we will never hear ever again and then the beginning of the loop will start now Hopefully this beat that I've created isn't getting too stale, but at this point. Alright, and the loop will start right here. Alright, and the loop sounds good. You could probably tell a difference there, but that's normal because I wanted it to be a little bit obvious so you could tell that it looped. Uh, normally when you loop a song, you really don't want to hear the loop happen. It should be seamless, and not all songs will allow that, but if it's got a strong beat, you can probably fool it pretty easily. And it's a whole lot better than hearing it fade out and then fade back in with an intro, right? So, yeah. All right, and uh, that concludes the tutorial. Um, it wasn't too hard, hopefully, and if you do have any problems with it, feel free to leave a comment below, and we will tackle this problem together. Thanks for watching my video, and hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.